This is a sycamore. Now, for some reason, everyone in England hates sycamore. It's one of the trees that conservationists spend a lot of time pulling up, cutting down out of forests. And it is an invasive species here in a sense, in that it was brought here in the 15th or 16th century from probably the Caucasus and was planted extensively in the 18th century as an ornamental tree. And since then it's spread out and naturalised in the UK. Whether it's invasive or not is a bit of a moot point because it may have only just got here in this last glacial episode, but before the last ice age, it's likely that sycamore was here in the past. And so we may just have brought it back to where it used to be anyway. The other thing that people hate sycamore for is the leaves, because when the leaves fall off the tree, they tend to turn into this horrible sloppy mulch. Now when the railways complain that the trains have been stopped by the wrong sort of leaves, what they really mean is sycamore, so they're quite right. Now, that When sycamore falls on the tracks it does make a horrible slippy mess and they're quite reasonably stopping the trains for it. The leaves have quite a characteristic shape to them. Uh, they're pretty large, a good six inches across. They're often quite sticky and that's because sycamore trees tend to be covered in aphids that spit honeydew out of their backside so they spatter it in sticky sugary goo and they have a slight red tinge to the petiole, this long stem here that attracts the leaf to the twig. But despite the fact that we don't like it as a tree, it's got some interesting associations with it. So the sycamore tree was the tree under which the Tolpuddle Martyrs gathered in the 1830s, perhaps the first trade union movement. And this was the place where they were uh, accused of having gathered to plot against the government and for that they were shipped off to Australia. Lovely.